talk about the, the changes that Oracle is making to the pricing licensing, which is leading to this whole migration. Absolutely. Yeah. So that was one of the reasons that we, you know, our suspicion as to as to why users of Oracle Java were moving to OpenJDK alternatives was was price. And the, the reason was because in January of 2023, uh, Oracle announced a significant change to how Oracle Java is 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 priced. And historically, um, they charged uh, Oracle Java for license and support based on the amount of Java that was used, right? Based on the number of desktops Java was installed on or the number of servers, et cetera. And the more Java that was used, the more that, that you would pay Oracle. And that's a, that's a very sensical, sensible uh, way of charging. The more you use, the more you pay. It's, it's uh, pretty standard in software. January 2023, um, Oracle made quite a dramatic change. And instead of charging for the amount of Java an enterprise uses, they charge based on the number of employees that company has. And employees is actually a defined term. So it's capital E employees, and that includes not only regular full-time employees, but it also includes part-time contractors and agents. And so it's a very broad definition that they use to come up with a, a number. And then Oracle's um, pricing now for uh, Oracle Java is based on you know the number of employees in an organization. The the price increase that this has caused most enterprises has been quite dramatic. Uh, Gartner cited that uh, for most organizations, um, they see between two to five X increase in, in effective price now with the new pricing change. We see in, in our you know daily practice in this um, somewhere between two to 12 X, we've seen even higher than that. So it really can be quite dramatic and, and ultimately, it's really just not very sensible anymore because, you know, if you have a 10,000 employee company A that maybe just has a, a couple applications that don't use a lot of Java and another 10,000 company, uh, uh, company B that uses you know, hundreds, thousands of job applications and tens of thousands of servers, it doesn't make sense that those enterprises would actually pay Oracle the same amount simply to, to use Oracle Java. So it doesn't make sense to us. It doesn't make sense to the, the companies that we talk to that are, are asking about, you know, what they can do about it. And ultimately, um, again, the good news is there's, there's excellent alternatives uh, coming from the OpenJDK community.